Hello, my beautiful darling Cancer babies. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian only channel. Cross watchers are welcome. If you would like to check out my other channels, I've got a Virgo and Leo only channel. Um, and then I have my main channel, Tarot of Light. All those links are below. Readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation please be sure to like share comment and subscribe click that notification bell so you know when my um readings post and when the winners are announced i do a monthly giveaway i give away two five question emergency readings um those are announced on the first of the month so just hashtag reading uh, to enter a chance to win if you are looking to open your own tarot channel or if you are looking to learn how to read tarot you could check out my tarot tutorial the link is below it's about two and a half hours long um, if you would like to book a reading with me I do offer video readings and then I have um, phone readings you could text me for a phone reading I am very backed up on text messages right now so if you need your reading right away I would highly recommend um, getting the video reading okay if you would like to check out my uh, tarot and oracle decks, I currently have Spirit Shield Tarot. Oh, no, that's Royal Rose. I currently have Spirit Shield Tarot and Oracle. And these are buy one, get one free. And then I have Royal Rose Tarot, which is currently 20% off, okay? All right, my love. So we're gonna go ahead and pull a self-care card, and then we're gonna do Cancer and all 12 signs and get into the reading. Spirit, tell me about my Cancer babies, please. Oh, and by the way, by the way, uh, this is my third time doing this reading because I kept on messing up the intro. So I'm just curious to see what this reading has to say. Okay, so create a routine. Have a rout Having a routine helps you limit procrastination and gives you structure. So Cancer, I feel like uh, Spirit is advising you to um, get organized in your daily uh, chores, daily life. And then we've got ritual here under the deck. Yeah, so spirit is advising you to get in the flow of a routine so this way you could get more done in a day, okay? All right, let's see what we have here for Cancer and all 12 signs. If we're dealing with an Aries, the 10 of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, <clears throat> excuse me, the Four of Cups and the Seven of Wands. Cancer, if you are dealing with an Aries... I'm seeing one of two things here. Either you bring a lot of stability and money to the table and this Aries isn't interested in that, okay? Or this Aries just isn't interested in commitment at all, okay? Or it could be that this Aries is turning down other options to commit. Let me get one more on that. No, Ace of Pentacles. Okay. So, so Cancer, this Aries could be sitting in an energy where they feel that you bring a lot to the table and this person's ready to offer commitment. They may be pushing away third party energies. All right. If we're dealing with a Taurus, we've got the Hanged Man, we've got the Hermit, the Nine of Cups, and the World Card. By the time this Taurus realizes your value, it's going to be too late. If we're dealing with a Gemini, we've got the Two of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, and the Chariot. Cancer, if you're dealing with this Gemini, this person's in love. They want to date you. They want to do the dirty nastiness to you. They, This person wants you, okay? If we're dealing with another Cancer, we've got the Knight of of wands we've got the lovers card we've got the king of wands and the five of pentacles this person per, this person's just a raging hoochie okay this person likes attention this person wants to flirt with other people they want to keep their options open five of pentacles leave it alone go home cancer go make yourself some dinner and leave it alone if we're dealing with a leo we got the star card we got the nine of wands we got the eight of wands and we've got the tower cancer if you're dealing with a leo this is someone that may want to heal something with you. They may want to have a conversation with you. Um, they, they may be a little shocked because with the Nine of Wands energy, you're not in an energy of wanting to forgive or communicate. If we're dealing with a Virgo, we've got the Five of Swords, we've got the Fool card, the Five of Wands, and the Page of Wands. Cancer, if you're dealing with a Virgo, 
I, I think that this person finds it entertaining to ruffle your fle your feathers. This is someone that may like to make you jealous just to kind of see you get upset. They find it entertaining uh, that this person is just doing it for entertainment. They, they they like to see you all ruffled and and they, they see you, they think it's cute when you get all mad and your feathers are ruffled. If we're dealing with a Libra, we have the Seven of Swords, we've got the Wheel of Fortune, we've got the King of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. Cancer, if you're dealing with a Libra, please be careful. This person sees you as a walking ATM. This person's out to rob you. If we're dealing with a um, Scorpio, Seven of Cups, the Four of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, and Temperance. Cancer, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, this person's fantasizing about you. This person is, you got this person dreaming about a house, wife, kids, everything. This person um, feels at peace with you. If we're dealing with a Sag, we've got the Two of Swords, the Ten of Swords, the Six of Wands, and the Ten of Cups. Um, Cancer, if you're dealing with a Sag, I feel like as soon as you end this, block this, and walk away for good, you'll be walking right towards your forever person. Person. So that new person could be a Sag or you could be leaving a Sag. You take it as it resonates. If we're dealing with a Capricorn, the Nine of Swords, the Ace of Swords, the Knight of Swords, and the Queen of Swords. Cancer, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, this person's giving off mixed signals and you need to know what the hell this person wants from you. One minute they're in, one minute they're out. You're putting your foot down. You know, you're not a toy to be placed on a shelf and taken off. What do you want from me? What is it? What's going to come of this? If we're dealing with an Aquarius, we've got the Emperor, the Moon card, the Queen of Cups, and the Three of Swords. Cancer, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, this is someone that is, if this person's keeping you a secret and not bringing you around friends and family, it's because they are in a higher level of commitment and what you don't know is you're a third party. If we're dealing with a Pisces, the Queen of Wands, the High Priestess, the Eight of Swords, and the Three of Wands. Um, Cancer, you may be feeling that something isn't right with this Pisces um, and I think that you should listen to your intuition here because this person is uh, either speaking to a third party or still, you know, looking for third party energies and keeping their options open. Okay. All right, my loves, let's get pop in here and see what we have for your love reading. Spirit, tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What does Cancer need to know today? in love please spirit what does cancer need to know today in love please spirit what does cancer need to know today in love please spirit okay so we've got fire aries leo sagittarius within a few days and waste of time okay all consumed, there's an unhealthy obsession with the idea of love. Cancer, your person may um, be entertaining a fire sign and they're realizing within a few days here that this person's a waste of time. Your person may feel that they are head over heels in love with this person. That they are meant to be with this person. But I feel like this fire sign has some secrets that they haven't told your person. Yeah, I feel like this is, if you're in separation with your person here, Cancer, okay, um, your person could either be a fire sign or they're entertaining a fire sign. And I feel like your person is just, you know, obsessed with this individual, thinking that this is love, thinking that this is where it's at. But the, whoever they're moving towards has a lot of secrets that they haven't told your person. And I feel like this, this connection is going to burn out. I don't see this lasting. All right, let's see here. Tell me about cancer, please. Tell me about cancer, please. Tell me about cancer, please. Okay. 
So we've got the Four of Cups and the Four of Wands. Yeah, your person's about to quickly realize that this is not someone that they want to live with. This is not someone that they want to be married to. This is not someone that they see as a future like hubby wifey type energy. Three of Cups and the Four of Swords. Cancer, I feel like this person's coming back around to you. Okay, I feel like this person's coming back around to heal things with you with the eight of wands and the justice card and temperance here cancer. This is someone that is seeking your forgiveness. This is someone that feels that you did not deserve what they did to you. We could be dealing with a Libra, a Sagittarius. Yeah, nine of swords and the seven of swords and the page of swords. Um, you know, here's the thing, though. I, I feel like this person knows that you know that they cheated. They know that you know that they went to go pursue something else. And this person is trying to figure out how to get back into your good graces. With the moon card and the ace of cups, um, I feel like this person maybe tried to keep the truth hidden, but they know that, you know, that that's not a thing. Yeah. That, it, that they may have tried or maybe they're wishing they would have kept this new situation hidden because with the queen of pentacles the two of cups and the star card for many of you this person may have even put it on social media that they were in a relationship with this new person this person's wishing that they would have shut the hell up because your person like really thought that this person that they were going towards was it. They were like infatuated with this third party thinking that this third party was the one. And you know, this person is wishing that they wouldn't have made it so public so quickly because now they they're trying to come back around to you and they don't know if they're going to be able to get you back. Tell me about the Four of Cups here for Cancer and the World card. Yeah, your, your person is realizing here that this is not a thing. Yeah, they're, they're shutting the door on this very quickly. Four of Wands here and the Ace of Pentacles. I, I'm gonna, you know, Cancer, I don't lie to you. You know I keep it real, okay? I mean, this person thought that they, you look, we've got the King of Pentacles here to the Queen of Pentacles, the Hierophant, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands. Your person was out to marry this individual, okay? Your person was out, they thought this person was hubby wifey material. Your person thought that this was gonna be their forever person. And then they, they came to find out that this Queen of Pentacles energy that they had all over social media or they were going around telling people that they were with this person um, or that they had found the one is not who they appear to be this queen of pentacles energy was not who they presented themselves to be tell me about the three of cups here the knight of pentacles you have a long overdue apology coming towards you this person is wishing, hoping, praying that they could forgive this and heal your heart. Aquarius energy. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. Ooh. Gosh, okay. Page of Swords and the Eight of Wands. Cancer, I mean, you guys are going to have a, an honest conversation here. You know, I mean, I'm seeing a conversation taking place. Tell me about the Justice card and the Eight of Pentacles. This person saying that they want to do right by you. Okay, we could be dealing with a Virgo with the Hermit here. This is someone that has taken quite a bit of time out to think about what to say to you. Yeah, they've taken quite a bit of time out to think about, you know, exactly how to approach you. The mistake that this person made was A, cheating on you or B, you know, be leaving you behind to see if the grass was green or somewhere else. But the ultimate mistake that this person feels that they made was moving too fast with the third party and making it known to you that they were moving on. And this person was very serious about this third party. They, they thought that they had met, you know, God knows what, that this was going to lead to marriage and everything. Tell me about cancer, please.
Cancer, I feel like within the next three months, you know, you're going to hear from this person anywhere from the next few days to the next three months. You may hear from this person, okay? But I feel like you are, it's going to be tough to get you back. It might not be until the fall that you and this person have a full-blown reconciliation because with tough love here, um, <coughs> Uh, tough love trials and tribulations will have you feeling hurt and burnt out you are sick of this person there and their shit you know this person's going to come in with a lot of romantic gestures you know it, it's in the works here where this person is in hermit mode thinking of all the ways that they are going to win your heart back um and like I said, they may be back anywhere from a few days to three months, but I feel like it may not be until the fall that they're able to maybe get, you know, some type of, you're pissed, you're burnt out, you're hurt, you, you just don't want to deal with this. I feel like, you know, you, you would talk to this person, but are you ready to like jump in their arms and start all over again? Fuck no. Hell to the nay nay. Tell me about cancer, please. We've got the King of Wands and we have the Ten of Swords. Yeah, I mean, listen, Cancer, I feel like, and again, we've got a fire sign and a fire sign. So, you know, the, the person that you're dealing with could be a fire sign or this person could be coming towards you telling you that it's over with the fire sign. I feel like this person is not going to get you to... um start even contemplating reconciliation until the fall. So it's going to take this person a long time and a lot of work before they even get you to think about, you know, taking them back. Eight of cups in the reverse. They're definitely coming back, Cancer. And with the strength card, Leo energy, you know, you're holding back from this person with the tower and the seven of swords and the nine of swords here again with the lover's card i feel like you cannot believe the way this person walked away from you and then just started putting other people on their social media or started bringing this person around friends and family you know you may have heard it through the grapevine that this new person was in the picture you know this is something that you're going to carry with you okay this is something that you're going to carry with you this is not going to be something that you can easily forgive and forget i don't know what the hell this person is expecting from you we could be dealing with an aries or a scorpio or a leo tell me about the ten of swords here and the Ace of Cups. So, you know, Cancer, this person is telling you that, you know, they, they ended that and they want to start over with you. With the King of Wands and the Five of Pentacles here with the Five of Swords, this is somebody that ghosted you, sabotaged things with you, just literally left you for dead. They literally left you for dead. With the Ace of Wands here, I mean, this person may have chosen lust over love. I feel like with the Death card and the Three of Swords and the Two of Cups, Cancer, uh, Scorpio energy, even if you have love for this person, the pain and the betrayal that they put you through, it just changed you as a person. It changed your heart. It changed the way you feel about this person. With the Two of Pentacles and the Five of Cups, um, there's just an energy of sorrow, despair, mourning, like you know, you just don't know if you can do this again. You don't know if you can suffer another disappointment with this person again. Um, what they're saying to you sounds amazing. You know, this person is coming towards you in emperor energy, telling you that they'll never hurt you like that again. They'll always protect your heart above all others. You know, this person is coming back to you, Cancer, because you're coming in as pre-empress energy and they are an emperor. This could have been a twin flame journey. Okay, this could be a twin flame journey that you and this person are on, but you're seeing this person as toxic. You just want nothing to do with this individual, okay? Um, Virgo energy, uh, Aries, Taurus, Capricorn energy. I, I really don't think that you want to let this toxicity back into your life, okay? This person's going to have their hands full. We've got the full card here and the Empress. 
with the six of cups. So Cancer, this is an ex that's coming back around towards you that wants you to trust them again. They want you to take that leap of faith because they feel that they have ascended to emperor energy and that you are their empress. They feel like you are the one for them. And honestly, with the Six of Cups here, the King of Swords and the Two of Wands, this is an ex that's not going to stop until you trust them again. They're, they have a game plan here, okay? They have a game plan here, and this is someone that knows that they messed up, and they know that they're going to have to really fight and put the work into it w with you, okay? What's going to happen here by the fall? Oh my gosh. Hold on, guys. Give me a second. Wow, Cancer, the Ten of Cups came flying out. So this person may win you over by the fall, but with the Hanged Man and the Seven of Wands, I'm not going to lie to you, Cancer, you are going to give it your all to push this person away and say no. But with the Moon card, the Four of Pentacles, and the Judgment card, here's what you don't know. This person's not letting you go until they get another chance to show you um, how much they regret doing what they did. You know, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, Cancer. But to me, I really do believe, I mean, don't get me wrong. All cheating is bad. Okay. All cheating is bad. All of it hurts. It's all bad. But there are levels. You know what I'm saying? There is a difference between the pain of knowing that maybe your person went on a, a bachelor party and got pissed drunk and made a mistake compared to your person leaving you for dead like you are total and complete garbage, going towards another person, giving them everything that, they, that you've ever wanted from them, putting this new person on a pedestal, saying that they're going to marry them and, and going around to friends and family saying that they've met the one and then coming back around to you to apologize. I mean, that's there's there's a difference there. You have to admit. I mean, it's all bad. Okay, it's all bad. It's all wrong. It, it all should never take place. But there's a difference there. Okay, I, I believe in that. I believe there's different levels to the pain of, of, you know, cheating is all bad. It all hurts, but some things just freaking hit different. And what this person did hit badly, you know, it hit really badly. So let's take a look about, uh, I want to see what's going to happen here in the autumn because in the fall, I mean, we have the 10 of cups coming up, which is a beautiful, long lasting, loving relationship. So will this person, you know, be able to win you over, you know, because I feel like by the fall, this person may have ground you down to the point that you just maybe give in and try again. But you are, I mean, that's like nine months from now, Cancer. So that's like nine months of you saying, no, I'm not interested. Please leave me alone. You know what I'm saying? I don't really care anymore. Though <coughs> This person changed the way you literally see them. You know, they changed the way you see them. Tell me about Cancer and this person. What do we see happening here by the fall between Cancer and this person? What do we see happening here? Ten of Swords and the Fool card. The Hanged Man, the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, this person hurts you. They had no care in the world of how damaged your heart is because of this. And with the Hanged Man and the Knight of Pentacles, after a while, they realized that with that third party, it's just a no-go. And here they are coming back around to you, all pitiful and sorry. You know, all pitiful and sorry. Uh, this person wants to win you back. Cancer, I feel like you can control your emotions as much as you want here, but this person's going all in. They have a plan and the plan is to knock down that wall. You know, the plan is to knock down that wall because cancer, this person feels that, you know, if they have another opportunity, if they could just get one more chance, they will be loyal. Okay. This is someone that is saying we're moving in together. We're getting married. You know, I will always choose you. I will never juggle you. I will never give my time and energy to someone else. This person is, they're out to be loyal, you know, but you cannot forget you just, it's very difficult for you to forget cancer. Very difficult for you to forget what this person puts you through.
But for those of you who need to hear it, you know, this person is in it to win it. You know, you might say no for nine full months, the 10 full months. Um, but this person, the reason why they're fighting so hard to get you back is because they mean business. Like this person is out to marry you. This person knows that you did not deserve what they did to you. And I feel like this person got scared straight with this third party energy. Let me explain why. Because this person dropped a whole fucking empress to go play with some crackhead somewhere, okay? And they, you know, they realized I can't take things at, you know, face value. Some people are gold plated and some people are worth their weight in gold, you know? So cancer, this person's like, I got to be careful here because I am, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm standing to lose something extremely valuable for something that had no value at all, you know, and I am never going to make this mistake again because they went towards this third party feeling like this third party was worth their weight in gold, you know, because when you don't know someone that well, and especially with online dating, you know, cancer, everything is social media. I could get on social media right now and I can, I can create a whole fucking persona. Okay. I mean, I can literally tell you that I work on fifth Avenue in Manhattan. I'm a stockbroker. I live on fucking the penthouse. God knows where, uh, my cousin, is, my cousin is, the prince of fucking Siberia and you know what I'm saying like I don't know like I could make up all fucking story like I could literally you know oh yeah my aunt's kung uncle's cousin is uh you know the king of England's you know whatever you know what I'm saying you could make up any freaking story that you want you know you can people catfish all the time you know that's another thing that may have happened to this person. They have, may have met this person online and it was, you know, a long distance thing. And then they met this person in person and this person didn't look like anything like their picture. Or, you know, it just turns out that this, this person that they left you for was nothing like they thought that they were, you know, and your person is realizing I am, I am never going to risk this again. I'm never going to put down someone that's worth their weight in gold to go after someone that I don't even know who you are, you know? Because that's how a lot of people meet nowadays is through social media. You know, I feel like this is a heavy, heavy lesson that your person learned. Okay. They put a dent in this connection that is going to be very hard to fix. Okay. It's going to be very hard to fix. But, you know, Cancer, if you can find it in your heart to heal from this, okay, to heal from this, um, this person is serious about marrying you, okay? Now, I'm going to say something. Some of you may agree with it. Some of you may not agree with it. But let me ask you a question. We live in a world where the dating scene is a fucking cesspool, okay? It just is. The dating scene is a cesspool. Now, many of you are going to be in the comments and many of you are going to say, screw that person. I'm not doing it after what they did to me. I don't blame you. What they did hurts. So I'm not going to sit here and tell you that you're wrong for feeling your feelings. I'm not going to do that. Okay. You feel your feelings. You get it out of your system. You go ahead and pop off in the comment section. I, I feel you. I feel you. I'm sending you my love, a hug, because I, I know how horrible some Thing like that could feel okay but let me just ask you if you were to move towards somebody new do you have any guarantee that that person will not do the same thing to you or do you have any guarantee that that person will respect you or treat you right you know they may treat you right for three years and then do something like gut-wrenching heart ripping out of your chest bad there's no guarantees not with the old and not with the new you know, the only thing you can say is that with the old person, you have a history there, you've invested in this person, and they have reached a point in your relationship where they know your value. You know what I'm saying? They have reached a point where they have fucked up so many times that they're realizing here, you know, what they stand to lose because, you know, now they're, they, they've had you, they're comparing you to other people and they're realizing like this, dude, this isn't worth it. This cheating shit is not worth it. You know, hurting cancer is not worth it. I need to go home, sit my ass down, shut the fuck up and go watch a movie and just marry cancer and go live my best life. Now, 
if you were to start with someone new, you're starting fresh. You're starting from someone that doesn't know your value, maybe doesn't see your value. There is a chance that you may meet Prince Charming or, you know, whoever, the, 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 the person of your life, but there is a high chance that you may mess up anyway. So I know we live in a world where people are mad, they're hurt, they're upset, they're angry, they're putting up their boundaries. Healthy boundaries is very important. And I think that you're showing that in this reading because it is taking this person almost a year to get back in your good graces okay they are gonna work for it cancer okay so I mean all I can the only advice I could give on this reading is you know make smart decisions you know make smart decisions because let me tell you something cancer I have left four marriages one worse than the next okay <laughs> one worse than the next okay and and you know the Sometimes it doesn't always, I've put myself in the worst fucking positions to get out of a relationship. And I'm talking like being married where I left and I, you know, I worked for my husband's company. So when I left, I had no job. I hadn't, didn't have money for cigarettes. I had no place to eat, no place to sleep, no car. I was willing to put myself in a position of being freaking homeless to get out of that marriage just to end up in a relationship that was even worse than that one you know? So, uh, you know, me, the lessons that life has taught me is to, you know, stop running, you know, try to work things out. People that have been married for 60 years or whatever, you know, they manage to work shit out. You know, they manage to work out the good times and the bad times. What this person did was over the top. What this person did was not okay. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, you have to ask yourself, you know, you've invested a lot of time and energy in this. The connection has matured. This person is ready to see your value and give you what you deserve. If you go towards someone new, now you're dealing with someone that probably has feelings for their ex or doesn't see your value. They don't know you. They have, you haven't invested in them. They haven't invested in you. And you're on a whole nother fucking shit show train of fucking craziness before that person realizes your value. And by then you're going to be sick and tired of their shit and move on to someone new. You know, um, the, 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 we, we live in a generation of, you know, we don't fix anything anymore. We just buy a new one. You know, we just buy it new. You know, we don't, we don't fix anything. But a tablet breaks, we don't think we just go buy a new one. You know, something breaks, we don't, we just go buy a new one. You know, the days of sewing holes in our clothes to, you know, save that pair of pants, that shit's over. We, we just go buy new ones, right? So we do the same thing with partners and with love. And, you know, it doesn't always work out. Sometimes it does. I'm not telling you that, you know, it'll, it will never work out if you go towards something new. All I'm just saying is, you know, it's, it's good to have, uh, to take other avenues into consideration. Okay. It's good to take other avenues into consideration. And the reason why I'm bringing this to the table is because we live in a world where there's so much darkness and there's so 11, 11 on the clock, as I'm saying that I swear to God on my son, 11, 11 on the clock, as I'm saying that, okay. You know, there's so much pain and darkness and hurt in the world and people are becoming harder they're becoming meaner they're becoming more numb they're becoming more just you know what i'm saying the the world is becoming dark it's becoming ugly it's just it's just bad it's it's bad it's, it's what's out there is is not for the freaking weak you know so if you can find love and and if you have someone here that is fucked up so much that you know they're willing to fight for you for 10 months to get back in your good graces and give you love, loyalty and commitment because they finally see your weight your you know worth your that you are worth your weight in gold take it because all you're doing is starting from square one with somebody new you know that that would be my advice what can you lose the the odds are the same in giving someone like that a chance compared to giving someone new a chance. You know, if someone's willing to fight for you for that long to show you that, that they see your worth and value and that they want to fix it, the odds, in my opinion, are the same of giving that person a chance compared to giving someone new a chance that you don't even know who that new person is, you know?
You may go from someone that hurts you with cheating right into a relationship that someone that hurts you, um, you know, because they put hands on you or they'll abuse your children or they put their parents in front of you or they, you know, you just never know, you know, they, they have an STD and they don't tell you and now you're stuck with an STD. There's so much horrible shit that happens in this world. You know what I'm saying? So much horrible shit that happens. So, you know, sometimes is it better to stick with the evil that you know, you know, especially if someone is growing and they've seen your worth, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's advice. It's just another way to look at things. You know what I'm saying? It's just a, a little spark of hope and light in a dark world to remember that, you know, it's always best to walk in love. It's always what best to walk in forgiveness. It's always best to have a soft heart versus a hard heart. It, it's, you know, it, I don't know. You know, I, I have been feeling called lately to preach that a little bit more. And I think it's because I felt for a period of time there, I felt my own heart getting really hard hearted. I felt my own heart, you know, I because I'm a human being too, guys. You know, I get off of these readings. I've got a personal life myself. I've got friends that hurt me. I've got family that hurts me. I've got relationships that hurt me. You know, I've got problems. I've got whatever. And I started to feel myself becoming super hard hearted and cold and, you know, when that happens, I lean more towards the Bible because it's love, right? You know, the Bible reminds us that, you know, we are meant to love one another. In the New Testament, those are the only two commandments. Love your Lord God and love your neighbor the way you love God, you know? So, you know, and, and it's so easy to stray away from that concept when there's so many fucked up people in the world and there's so much pain in the world. It's so easy to lose yourself, you know? I, I felt my myself slipping into the darkness. I felt myself being really angry with people and getting so over the top nasty and just sarcastic. And, you know, like, because I'm tired and I'm sick of everyone's shit and I have a lot on my plate and, you know, and I started to be like, you know, this isn't the person I want to be. This isn't the person I want to be, you know? So I, you know, kind of caught myself and shifted myself. And I, when I look at the comments, I see a lot of pain in the comments. I see a lot of, uh, you know, hurt hearts in the comments. I see a lot of people that have just become bitter and sick and tired of the world and people's bullshit. And, you know, I have the ability to get on um, a social media platform and have the ear of, you know, not at the whole world, but for the little handful of people that I do have in this world that do watch me, you know, I can remind you guys, you know, choose love, you know, choose love, choose love because we can go down the road of hatred and bitterness, but is that any way to live? You know what I'm saying? Is that any way to live? It's, you know, I don't know. It's each his own. You know, it's all it's all about it's a different concept. It's a different way of of looking at things. You know, it's it's one of those conversations that you have with yourself of is this who I want to be? Do I want to really be this hard person? Do I really want to lose myself because the world is a dark and ugly place? You know, I don't know. I went through it and I, you know, all I can do is, is give advice to people and remind them, you know, to find their way back towards light and love, you know, that's all I can do. All right. I'm done preaching. I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys soon.